because we're in the window then we're on <laughs> i know we need now we we're in the window Wait, let me see if can... <laughs> is this any better perhaps now we're just in a cold light it's okay how are you sheila okay, happy, happy, new year! happy new year everybody sorry we missed last week it's okay i think we just weren't sure about what we were doing we were it's fine the new year new us I was like, new year same me <laughs> new year same me but gonna be better this year yeah best year ever. rock and roll we need warm light okay <laughs> she's going hi everyone uh i hope you're doing great it is thursday so it's our first show of the 2023 23. year first show there was a little tyke here and i said he looked at all the stuff and i said we're gonna do a show he's like oh Ooh. we're gonna do a show Ooh. wow it's gonna be a nice easy re-entry into 2023 how was your new year it was good it was quiet you Did know the babies come they came last they came uh well we had them for 24 hours they were here at 9 a.m on sunday oh. and went home at 9 a.m on monday so not long enough but still still had a great time they're such great kids and good to see my daughter and son-in-law had the whole family over for christmas on sunday yay so that was good it's all good it's so it nice fun. so Christmas is now officially over. There you go. Move on. We had a uh, extended Christmas with some friends in Michigan. So thank you, Julie and Eric and Goldberry. And it's all good. You go there a lot, like we, every year. We do. We do. And it's really nice to visit. Um, it's kind of equidistant for us and another family. And so <laughs> this is like we get to see them at Which least once nice. a year. That's so good. So you kind of have to. Your, go see your peeps. So hi to everyone watching and, and yeah, hanging out with us. So You're bright. Right. I know. I kind of. What if we close the blinds a little? Close the blinds. I can't reach it. Okay. Can you reach it? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to bring down the blinds. We're going to bring down the little one. Okay. So oh, here we are. Oh, yeah. I think you're going to find this. Okay. Now people can't see us. <laughs> That's okay. Ah. It's fine. Oh my it's gosh, fine. it's so much better. It is because you're always so. Warm oh, here. your picture is very bright. I'm sorry, Jill. All right, good morning. Wait, Anna. your picture is very bright. It's because you're just glowing. It's the tea. Well, I'm wondering. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. All right. Well, we're gonna. Put, let me close this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. We're live. It's fine. Things to do before we go. Live. You know what it was? It was uh, because the Christmas trees were here. Yeah. That's why. Okay. Now we try. Now you try. Now we do the things. Now you do all the things. Good luck to you. <laughs> I'm still so contrasted. Do we, should we change seats? <laughs> Will that matter? I don't know. Will you feel off? No. Oh, Will you feel off? You can't hear me. <laughs> okay. Is this better? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're so lovely. Maybe we should right. just change cameras. No, it's okay. It's okay. 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 We're good. Okay. 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 Back it's a while. white balance. Thank you, Mike. Okay. We need a, <laughs> we need lighting and producers and directors and makeup. And, yes. All that. What are you drinking today? And oh you my guys gosh. Tell us what you're drinking so, today. I'm feeling a little tired. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm I'm opening a tea room. Mm. There's a lot going on. There's to get a the lot. Tea open. So There's I'm a lot. I'm a little tired today. So I am actually having, prepared by our lovely Lauren, I'm having a matcha latte Ooh. with oat milk. Ooh. Warm and it's like breakfast. It is. You know, and I, I've, I've really embraced the oat milk. Not because I have anything against bovine. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, I like the creaminess of it. Well, you know, it's filling. It's filling. It, it fills you and it's like, it goes well with the matcha. Um, it really does because like almond milk is not that's like water to me yeah not, i had yeah i had a little bit of an almond like latte thing i'm like mm, not the same and so. what's in your cuppa my cuppa is our chai with oat milk oh so here we go all right everybody Slurp along. Slurp. Mm. Mm. i like this so much so much spice is right on go spice vanessa yeah Perfect. But Vanessa's our chai wow. So chai is ready today. If you're local, all three are here. Chocolate chai, traditional, and then that's with whole milk, and then our oat chai. They're all good. The spices are and they go fast. Spot so on. if you don't think you're going to be able to get over here till later, I recommend that you call and we'll warm oh, it up when you can get in. There you go. So that's what we're doing. I don't have a quote today. We're going to come back with all that and we're going to rejuvenate because it's it's January. I like to say reset and recover. 
And then, yeah, so next week, Julie and I are attending a three-day online seminar with my beloved people at Whiz Bang Retail Training. Oh, I, loved, I'm so I love them, Bob Nagan and yeah. Susan Nagan. So they do this, it's called the Marketing Mentor Program. Yeah. I'm, I'm I actually did it in 2012. So it's a good time to do it. It's a good time it's to do really it. Right. So like I'm like, I was looking at some old paperwork and I'm like, oh my God, that was 2012. Um, so we're doing it again because of all the new things that are going to be going on here at T. Lula. I thought, okay, Exciting. this would be a good opportunity to like get together and just do a, what do the people say today? A deep dive. A deep dive? We're, we're going to deep dive. <laughs> we're so going deep. Contrasted. I'm so, so Oh, there. That's there. I keep moving back. Well, I like our little I'm like a sound Monet. booth. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> don't go close. Oh, my gosh. All right. What's everybody drinking? Uh, we got the Madagascar fine bourbon. Um, we ran out of that. It just came in the door. Oh, like look at away. that. French vanilla. Nice. Very oh, nice. Tamitra. Hi. First frost. I gifted some 12 teas of Christmas. Fantastic. Nice. Well, First Frost is actually um, not available for like two more months. Well, so lucky you. Lucky you. Lucky you have it. Uh, and then, yes, Janine, we did say chocolate Hi, chai. Janine. Yeah? yeah. I see Janine Duda Dur. Yeah, she's our, our niece. There you go. Well, hello. Come on in. Or she, is she far? Is she far? Um, she's in Palatine. Oh, okay. But she had an awesome wedding in... Uh, Oh, cool. What's what's Galena? So, so Galena nice. was so much fun. I and her Galena. husband, Dewar, is somehow related to the, you know, U Ulysses Grant. Oh Actually, my gosh. Ulysses Grant married them, so it was quite awesome. Oh, that's so thanks for joining us, Janine, because your wedding was also Janine had Fred and I invite us to come over and join their Christmas Eve. Uh -huh. So that was lovely because, oh, you know, it's always just Fred and I, mm -hmm. you know, with all the family doing their We're going to so. get there one day where it's just the two of us. I'm like, that's weird. It was really nice. <laughs> but it's oh, nice. But you know what? The game that we all have to get is left, right, center. Oh, yeah. That was and, put some, and put some money on it, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I heard that Lily's family, they <laughs> put some money on it. I think someone won like $600. Mm -hmm. Big our, our pot was, what, 33 We would be. <laughs> Exactly. And that was big. I would play with my uncles. All right. We're I'd be happy. I, I'm happy when I win a $2 scratch off. Oh, that's exciting. It you do is. Scratch off. Cause you, you just feel like you feel like a million bucks, but anyway. <laughs> oh, Janine, poor uncle Fred. <laughs> and his blue, I had blue velvet on Tuesday. I love it. All right. We'll get back to that. Um, today we're going to talk to, off we're going to talk about okay. 2023, 2023 forecast. Off the rail. That's a, that's our new shirt. Off the rail. 2023. Uh, no, we're going to talk a little bit about the Tilula forecast. I have some uh, hot topics. So we're going to do Sheila hot takes. And then a couple of posts that we had done on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and yeah, we'll talk a little bit about workshops. But as you know, we're under construction. So yeah, this is why we're here in the front of the store. <laughs> it's, well, yeah. And you never know when they're going to hit that saw. So yesterday the floor right. guy was here and you should see like the 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 dust. The, yeah, the there's still dust. dust. There's still dust. It's I'm so ready for it to be done now. Oh, Although know. exciting on Monday. What's that? We're having our refrigerators and our prep table Oops. and dishwasher and convection oven are all going in. Well, it's gonna look like a real kitchen. It's gonna look like a kitchen. It's gonna look real. <laughs> it's, 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 it's getting real. It's, yeah, things are getting real. <laughs> So, okay, well, before we get to the forecast, and in a way, this is kind of a forecast. It's a good segue. Uh, last time we were together, we talked about our top five black, green, mm -hmm. um, and long teas. And this was our herbal. This is Now, this is our website. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you are aware, but wellness is number one. Always 100%. Yeah? 15 years running. Has it been here the whole time? All the whole time. Cool. People love wellness. Hot, Hot and cold. or cold. Okay. Or cold with lemonade in the shot back. I like that. Sorry. <laughs> if you're a rum fan, you could do that oh, too. Oh, rum would be good too. Rum is actually oh. very good in endless summer. Yeah. Oh, I found in well I found. I was introduced to a new coconut rum. It is, what is awesome. Really? It is awesome. All right. I well, love when you travel. <laughs> I know. Me too. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just looking for stuff for right here, to be honest. That's a, I'm just doing well, reconnaissance. Well, you scored big with toast. Thank you. It was great. That was great. All right. So we'll talk about the tipsy teas later. Uh, peachy Keen number two. That surprises me. Does it? Because that's a new one. That's a newer, that's a newer one. one. It has yeah. surpassed Endless Summer yeah. and Boucha's. 
And Candy Almond run, run, running out in the number five spot, that was usually two. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it's been, I think Peachy Keen has really caught people's attention. Well, oh, that's nice. And Boucher's Strawberry Garden, that's actually named for Fred's mom. I always thought that Boucher's Strawberry Garden was, like, always in the top two. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. good to know. It's good to know it's still hanging in the top five. There you have. So if you've never tried these teas, I highly recommend getting yeah. a sample. But you know what's very interesting? Hmm. Four out of five are fruit tisans. Mm -hmm. There's only one actual herbal infusion, <laughs> which is still pretty citrusy. It has like, you know, yeah. tangerine, grapefruit, it has lemongrass in it. But all the rest are fruit tisans. This is true. Basically, it's dried fruit. It's fruit. They want the fruity. Yeah. Which is interesting because that's kind of like part of the forecast, too, is that people just want healthy, organic, fruity, fruity uh, teas. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Our fans, our audience, is, they're right on top of this. We're so, so They're so on trend. They are very trendy. So um, what's your take then on, on tropical? Because I, I mean, we have tropical teas. Or tropical flavors. We do. So like Uva Granada, um, Guadalajara, that's our number one, I think, green tea, tropical. Oh, yeah. We um, could go back to find it. Endless summer would be in the tropics. And Fourth of July. Fourth of July, kind a of. Bit. It's a little It's a little more tart. You know? Yeah. Not as, like, if you want tropical, Uva Granada, or actually Gua Guadalajara, the guava, oh, my God. You need an umbrella in that drink. Oh, look at this. And wellness is in our top five illness helpers. I like that. Oh, that's really good. You know why? Because it's so good. And when you don't, when you don't feel, um, you don't feel well, it tastes good when it's hot. It just looks oh. lovely. And the candles with the crystal in them are amazing. That was a Lily or Vanessa? Yeah, they found those. But I think what we talked about yesterday is we're going to try to make our own. Yeah, because we're makers. Because we make things. We like to make things. But yeah, we might start we're making some of our That looks great. That sounds great. Um, so yeah, so tropical flavors are part of the forecast. Like that's up and coming. But I feel like it's always been, especially in the summer. In the summer, yeah. Uh, what is your take on herbal teas such as turmeric and saffron? Okay, so saffron, that was, that's going to set you back a ton of cash. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> Yes, I remember when Fred and I were in India and this young man named Ryan worked here and Ryan could be like a chef. He's like a brilliant guy. Okay. Anyway, we wanted to bring him back some saffron. Okay. Because from India, that'd be kind of cool. Like a gram was a hundred dollars. Whoa. Because like it come in the long yes, strands. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, hey, we love you, but we're going to spend a hundred bucks oh on a God. gram of so, saffron. So, I, so always, this is always my issue with like, so what do you think about saffron and turmeric? No one ever tells me what the medicinal amount is to give you benefit. Yeah. Yeah. So if like if turmeric is supposed to be anti-inflammatory and help like joint pain or whatever, well, how much of that do I have to consume? How often? Yeah. Like is it and can you mix it can, with right. tea? Does like it, is do there you... anything? Yeah. So is it like five grams? Is it like five grams two times a day? Is it like who knows? And then nobody can oh. ever tell you that. Okay. So unless there's an herbalist out there that would say because when you read the ingredients of any herbal tea, you just know it. So the most ingredient, let's just say that are the Tulsi or what yeah, uh, uh, the holy basil, that we yeah. Have, so the first ingredient is turmeric, and then you have other things. You still don't know if you're getting like, in a, when we prepare like a five grams into a 16 ounce cup of tea, how much turmeric are you getting? Is it a scant amount? What, like, How much do you need for medicinal purposes? Well, and do people, it's like aside from the medicinal purposes or health benefits, it's like taste wise, like, how much of it, I always wonder how much of, of it is like people really, really like the taste Yeah. versus like, I know this is good for me, so I'm just going to drink it. Well, right. And I, I, like, so I often think that if you, if you're drinking something medicinally and it tastes like Robitussin, you will, like, I think they make medicine taste yucky. So kids don't drink a bottle of yeah, it. Yeah, this is true. But I would think that you'll give it up. It's yeah. not sustainable. I mean, unless That's you're the kind point. of person who can just like choke down 
uh, ickiness. Uh, yeah. What was the thing people were into? That lemongrass. Um, oh, that that grass, acai, uh, no, it's that grassy stuff. Uh, wheat what, grass. Oh my gosh, that was like a whole 80s, 90s? Yeah, like, it's, oh yeah, I'm drinking my shot of wheat grass. It's like, why don't you just go outside and not in your lawn? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, be a goat. Be, you could be, yes, <laughs> 2023, be a goat. Uh, saffron in the milk chai sounds very interesting. Yeah, that would be, okay. Does it give a buttery taste? As a garnish, as a, as as a, a hint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But are you going to really want to have a hundred dollar hell no. latte? Well, you know what? That would be the ultimate. The ultimate. And put some gold flex in oh. it. <laughs> put some gold flex. That should all. Oh. And then we could like spoon it to the people <laughs> to drink. <laughs> Here, like yes. yeah. You so get a you get a tiny spoon. I'm always concerned when people start going that that route of the the magic bullet. It's not going to happen. No. no, it's not going to happen. So I, don't do it. I mean, if you enjoy it and it's like, okay, okay. I, and I yeah. always say, if you're going to drink, like we have this tea called the one with the turmeric, that's right. right. It has turmeric in it. People wanted tea with turmeric. So we did one, but oh, cute. you know, just drink it because you enjoy it and don't drink a soda and lay off some, <laughs> With of, the the sugar. Right, lay off and some of the alcohol, whatever. But I'm just saying like, you've got to have that balanced lifestyle. True. You what know? do they say? Like you shouldn't. If you're sick, like don't feed it with sugar. Like sugar's just like the worst thing. They also say now you should just let your fever roll. Yeah. Like well, even after we got the COVID shots, however long ago, it's like don't take Tylenol right away. If you oh feel yeah. Like, yeah. Let let your body like kind of adjust. Well, let stuff, it fight it. Let, then... it. let it do its job. Sure. So I don't know. Right. Yeah. Like I would love to. I I mean I really sometimes feel like we need to get an herbalist or we need to get oh. someone who really understands herbs and different or like the health benefits yeah and yeah. how much that yeah. is so many i mean i've been here 15 years i never in 15 years had anyone say well if you're going to have a really good medicinal benefit from your turmeric tea each each tea you make should have at least six grams of turmeric yeah and you go then and i feel like what the hell is that gonna taste like I don't know. <laughs> well right and i'm like looking at this strictly from even taste i'm like i don't know i'm not a big turmeric person i i won't seek it out i might taste it once in a while but it's like i love that everyone is really into it yeah just like the uh, mushroom right. tea or adding um what is the i, I can't say i was or whatever the uh, other herbs are. Gaiwasa, oh, yeah. okay. i don't know they're all very herby i'm like all right that's all cool for and you. If you all love that and it's great good for you but a little there's no magic bullet otherwise yeah. you would see it on the cover of the new york times Right, turmeric cures blah blah. You no, haven't seen that yet. No, no, all right. You haven't seen it yet. Although I do know that tea cures COVID. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting it out there. <laughs> I, you know, I saw a couple comments before we changed gears. Um, where is it? Lawn clippings, hilarious. <laughs> um, Elizabeth, I hope you are feeling better. She's been guzzling ginger mint this week. She's just not Oh my God, go easy on it because that's back ordered to late February. Oh, I didn't know that. Tried to get it in today and they're like, no, sorry. Aww. That's blended in Germany for us from our awesome German blender. German blenders. Um, what herbal tea would you recommend for a 15 month old? Oh, um, well, it depends, but rooibos. Yeah. Yeah. Oliver, yeah. Oliver, yeah. Oliver, her son grew up on rooibos here. There you go. Yeah, rooibos is good for their stomachs. It's caffeine free. Um, it, depending on your, you know, biology, it can, it, it can loosen you up a little. Mm. It has a little yes. digestive assistance. Um, so maybe like a little, like a small cup. You yeah, know, not a lot. Um, some people like to give their kids chamomile. That's always fun. yeah, honey bush. Honey, honey bush. bush. Now, honey bush is the cousin of rooibos. Mm -hmm. It's a little sweeter, and it's not as um, I don't know how to describe like, it. The, there's like a grassy. It's, it's like, a grassy tobacco. -y thing. It's really hard. So rooibos, though, it, I still haven't figured this out, but it tastes very similar to a Chinese herb, which that my husband really enjoy. Like we all enjoy it at our house, mm -hmm. but it's so hard to describe. Yeah. And I hate saying medicinal, even though it does kind of taste it, but I, anyway. 
Yeah. Well, on the honey bush, we featured honey bush vanilla um, at so our winter fast, and people have been coming back for that like crazy. Cause good. It's, and then honey bush cider is like a really light uh, cinnamon apple, like an apple cider. Um, mm -hmm. That one's nice too. Oh, so chamomile cider. That's and a good one. And if you one. live in Ireland, you give them Irish breakfast. Because <laughs> that's because they, they don't care. Well, like in Japan. Just give them Asanoka Sencha. Yeah, Sencha. They don't care. Like, they don't oh, care. There's caffeine. They don't care. It's fine. There's like it's just us that care. Just you go to different countries and they're like, "What? Do you care? What? What are you talking about? Like, drink the tea. Not so drink much. The tea. Uh, but this is good to talk about because the other part of the forecast is premium teas. Yeah, we're bringing in some delightful things. people are looking yeah are now start like yeah it's it's, well, it's, it's on the uptick now, we've instant, always we had want, we've always had them but they always had them in very small amounts mm -hmm. uh, we just brought in our first ever yellow tea oh my god so good so we good. have a couple that come in that have been ordering that like crazy oh so that's been a very wonderful addition oh. so yeah we're actually turning like our 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 this part yeah <laughs> this here <laughs> where the cash register is. right okay the china cabinet that's yes. what i'm trying to I'm think of the china the cabinet. cabinet okay we're going to be turning that into our um luxury line so all of all of those teas here will be in these beautiful black uh airtight containers and then we will be sampling really? those and then we will package not by the ounce, but they'll be in. They're very expensive. Right. However, this is new to me. I'm kidding. Yeah. I kind of knew this, but kind of. Wise have to get the containers done, but they're very expensive. However, the best thing about these, especially like your oolongs and your like, um, by how Yinja and the silver needles, you can receive those. Oh yeah, they're dozen, meant to be right? dozen times, like they're five six times. So, even though it's a, I guess compared to like big red Fred, it's like a much more expensive item it'll last you a very long time and we would never sell you a pound of it yeah i had a guy come in here once oh my gosh <laughs> who like bought his wife from a, a not to be named tea shop bought her a pound a pound of oolong that's a lot that's a lot and he came in here and i'm like i would never have done that to you mm -mm. i just sold you like well 50 grams is what three <sighs> or uh well i know 1.76 ounces so under two ounces is what i would have sold you of an oolong yeah i have to go grams i have to go like metric yeah i can't do the ounces yeah so a 50 grams is 1.76 ounces but it's just like uh, who's gonna sell you a pound of tea people that know you don't know about tea and re-steeping teas and things like that so you, <laughs> you buy a pound of tea if you're gonna open your tea shop you're gonna tea shop right <laughs> Yeah, because it's going to last you forever. And not only that, tea drinkers are not like coffee drinkers. No, no, no. Coffee drinkers have a coffee, and that's what they drink. My mom had, I think, Folgers. Mm -hmm. or, no, Hills Brothers. Uh, Hill, oh, yeah. Red yeah. Can. And, mm -hmm. Forever. Don't yeah. grind the, who grinds the beans? You just put it in. Yeah, no. You don't, you don't no. veer from that. Tea drinkers, we're like, it's based on like my, your, your mood. mood. Like, oh, I'm feeling a latte this morning. I'm going to have some monkey pit too long in about an hour. And then maybe tonight, if I need a little pick me up, I might do an assam. But it's like. Some people do like to do the, like they have a tea in the morning specific. Mm -hmm. And then they might have something at night. But some people are like that. Some people are all over the place right. like me. <laughs> like, some people might it. just all the thing they drink might be English yeah breakfast or Irish breakfast well that's great but it's not is like set in stone as coffee so i would never sell someone a pound you'd have to be interviewed i'd have to interview you to be like all right no tell me why you want a pound well that also if you're doing the long. luxury premium teas that might be part of it as we go into more of the right. premium tea bar then you have a discussion with one of our right educated staff. Like, yeah. So if you buy a pound of this, I will not see you for probably three years. No. Oh, and so speaking of pound, it says, what will a pound of oolong stay fresh? Oh yeah. Oolong ages Wait. really well. Oolong, some of these oolongs to drink really a while. Mm. Well. One, they age well. Like, they age well. Like do. you don't have to drink them. And in oh. fact, they even get better with age. <laughs> kind of like me. You get better, <laughs> you get with, better age. with age. Other t-shirt. Okay, depends on which. <laughs> I could use a pound of rock. Ooh, so good. Now that's like the Wu Yi rock. Ooh, yeah, we, so we good. Rock are so good. Wow, yeah, but also know, but see, like for Jill, Jill is like an educated tea person. Yes. 
that drinks, you know, she'll drink oolongs and know that you can re-steep them. So she would know that if you bought a pound of oolong, it could probably last you a year or two. Yeah. Just keep it away from moisture, air, heat, light. Yeah, there you go. You just keep it away from all that. And then you can do what Julie and I do is if you've had it for a couple of years, you throw it in a hot I love doing pan, that. And then you let you just dry. Like, yeah. yeah, so you took the dry oolong leaves in a hot pan. So it's hot, like one, two, ouch, hot. It's not like you just, it's just you want to feel the heat. Yeah, low. I did low, low heat. heat. Yeah. And then for like two minutes, you just kind of stir your dry leaves around. Yeah, you and just take your pan and just like shake it up. Like you're making popcorn tea. And then, um, <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. But then what happens is the heat brings up the um, essential oils of the tea leaves and then you steep that oh my gosh it is like it's really it nice. awakens some beautiful flavors the in the earth and then you've just made your own tea yeah so you can hit like so go ahead come in and buy a pound of like a second thought well you know what? it's almost like the people who do like they roast their own beans at home yeah so you so you could buy oolong and just experiment right you could so we've done it and we'll bring that back. We'll bring that back. I'll bring the, the pan. It was a lot of fun. I actually have some that are a few years old now that we could. Oh, with. yay. Let's do that. Oh, the question. Can we buy, speaking of like, she needs a bigger cabinet <laughs> for her pounds of tea. Can we buy silver needles yet? Yes. Uh, yes. Is it in? It's, it's in. We don't oh, have good. a lot of it. So some of these really fine spring teas, I only brought in like a kilo. Some of them only a half a kilo. Okay. Um, but there, I know we had a customer in yesterday, so she bought 25 grams. So we do have it. That one has to be packaged for you when you come. There you go. Freshly packaged. It's pure. That's my uncle. It's I was like pure. hugging the tin last night. I was. Explaining this. You were warming it. Beautiful <laughs> tea. And Aww. I go, wow, I'm actually quite enamored with this. Oh <laughs> my gosh. That's so cool. All right, guys. So look out for 2023 more herbals not necessarily here but just in general the tea world people are really interested in the herbals the tropical flavors premium teas and everyone just wants to be healthy that's what you gotta be healthy everyone just wants did to be we healthy. not learn that the last couple of years oh my gosh you gotta be healthy so should some things show up you can fight it oh my gosh yeah just be healthy be healthy and enjoy your life Okay, so to happy. bring more enjoyment be to people. people. Be with people. Because, you know, people who need people <laughs> are the happiest people in the world. In the world. <laughs> okay, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara, can you hear me? Barbara, can you <laughs> Sheila, can you hear me? <laughs> we're just going to no. break in the song. So if you're, you might not even know who we're talking about. Okay. Okay, okay youngins. I know. It's okay. Tamitra asks, and Tamitra, this is such good timing. Will you be offering blending tea classes in the future? Yes. I believe so, yes. Yeah, once all the dust, is, when the dust settles, we're going to get, well, it'll be after hours. Yes. You don't right. want dust in your tea. No, but it, I think once the tea room's open, it'll be after hours. We'll be, we'll be bringing back our special events in our classes. There you go. So speaking of special events and classes, we did a, an unscientific poll on Facebook and Instagram. And so Sheila, this is what we have found. Okay. <laughs> we have found that um, people are really interested in tea and chocolate <laughs> across the board. Now that was when we did a couple virtual. Right, ones, that's a great class. It's a lot of fun. It's really amazing. I like taking that with yeah. you. Uh, and then now she she's hosted. I've only I've only facilitated once. So well, that was, really was fun cool. though the virtual one we did. That was great. That was cool. Everyone, a lot of people are very interested in tea and etiquette, or yes. or how to have etiquette while drinking tea. That be so. I think that one we probably will schedule um, when the dust is done, and we could do that before we open the tea room. So people know how to behave. Behave in our tea room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop making noise with your spoon stirring that cup. I have told a couple of people to you put your pinky, pinky down. down. I've Good seen man. it. I'm like, oh, pinkies have been down since the 1700s. Oh Come on. Y'all just know if you have a handle, right? you don't have to do this. No, it's okay. only when it's not a handle and you need it to balance. Pro tip, pro tip. Pro tip. Um, but with the um, tea and meditation or a meditative tea practice, mm -hmm. we found that a lot of our Instagram people, followers, that type of class. Okay. And so Lily and I are going to work on that. Okay. 
And then um, a few, there's like a small percentage are really interested in kind of an intro or a basic professional tea cupping. That's fun because you get to slurp and spit. You do? Do you spit? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Which is do slurp. So, yeah, I mean, if, you're, if I'm like over in another country sampling a tea to bring in the store, you're, you know, most people don't, they, most people spit. But because you're doing so many. Yeah, yeah. But on the other hand, I really feel it's important to to cup the teas um, as if we would how we would drink them because mm -hmm. when you're drinking them, you're not slurping, you're not, you know, it's like no, just how does it taste when you drink it? How does true. it smell? How does it taste? So, so I, I try to be a little bit more realistic about it. That's true. I mean, when we taste for the store, it's for how are people going to enjoy it? So this type of class, I think a lot of people, these are those who are longtime customers and they're like, oh, what is that about? Like, what is a cupping like? And I'll tell you what's really cool about cupping is like when I was in the T sommelier class yeah. last, last term, we were doing like white, green, oolong, and black. And then the way they had us cup was our your normal way of, you know, you brew the tea and look at the leaves and all that. But yeah, then you would like good. taste one, like you do white, green, oolong, black. Well, this time they had you do white, green go back to white oh okay. what does white taste after you have that green green sensation then green oolong back to green back to oolong so you had to keep going you had to <laughs> jump around because once you did that then you're like now so a japanese green tea very grassy very um like oceany mm -hmm. then you go back to like silver needles and you're like oh earth cool oh ocean Wow. It was fantastic. It was such a such a fun way to really because you say, well, I don't think I could ever taste, you know. But when you go back and forth, when you go back and forth. It's like, oh, there it is. Now, you yeah, know. that was fun. So we're gonna incorporate that. So cool. I love that. All right, and then before we go, real quick, um, we had <laughs> lesson set. Like that. And just before we started our broadcast i asked sheila if she was watching anything she and i like we really don't watch any of the shows that are on this picture if you're watching i'm like no. um i i know a few of them right like knives out that's a movie that's um really that's the second in the series that's out it's really entertaining guys um wednesday so if you're on facebook or instagram it was a post and people would say what they're watching and then i was like pairing a tea oh cool <laughs> with so you know watch and sip watch and sip i know most people like to have wine when they're watching you know they're just hanging out at home but i'm like you know what not everybody drinks wine no no that'd be kind of fun though so um but in the far corner is uh, emily in paris i've never watched the show my daughter has and my sister-in-law and so i was like i know a little bit about it it's it's a girl from chicago Wow. in Paris and I'm like you know what cute <laughs> I'm like I think I would just go with a nice like basic you know what I would drink hmm. I would drink big red Fred and I'll tell you why because in Paris is mariage oh uh, yes for tea room and yeah they have a tea called Marco Polo oh my god it tastes just like big red Fred I'm pretty See? sure it's the same thing. That's why you need to answer some of these yeah, questions so too. I think because it's like, oh yeah, I've been drinking big red friend. So there you go. It doesn't have a very Parisian sounding name, but that's what I was. Well, no, I was but that's that's why you need to answer some of these questions yeah. too. Here, okay. What about, um, you know, the crown? I do. I know it's not on there, but Anne, Anne, if you're still with us, it's. Um, I had said for the crown, I said naturally a hot Earl Grey with a splash of milk, no sugar because it's a queen or great yeah or an english or an afternoon tea english afternoon there you english go breakfast what about or a lovely oolong because you know oh. oriental beauty was actually named i believe by oh the early queen, queen elizabeth oh yeah i didn't know that I was a queen very name. early in her life her young life i did not know that mm -hmm. um are you familiar with schitt's creek I love that show. So what would you drink? <laughs> scotch. Straight up scotch. <laughs> I know. Scotch neat. Well, you know how they have Rose, <laughs> the Rose Apothecary? Yeah, I would probably do Mary Mary Rose. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that show, I don't, I came into that late. My daughter Amanda turned me on to that. And I just can't, like, I haven't watched all the seasons yet, but Amanda's that mom make me laugh. What about, um, are you familiar with White Lotus? No. Okay, so I just know the lady from Legally Blonde, like the friend who was a Jennifer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Village. She's funny. 
so I'm going to show you now. I posted this. I just love peppermint tea. <laughs> I just love peppermint tea. And she's like, yeah, I just love it. So there you go. Um, that would be White Lotus. And then the other one, Bridgerton. Never saw it. Okay, so it's the Regency era. Okay. And so all of them are I watched after one, like, I watched like five minutes of it. There you go. Yeah. I tried to get into it, but I didn't. I would just, you know what, chai? Chai. If you're in that season two, there is a young lady who is having a cup of chai because she really does not, she's, she doesn't care for black tea. Okay. okay. So I said a lovely cup of chai. So there you go. And then on Instagram, I think it was um, Sue Duffy. I think she said, was it Sue or was it Bruce? It's the other Sue. Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember what she said. I'll have to look. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it up here? Oh, you sure? Of course not. She had a couple of shows, and I'm like, oh, you definitely have some teas here that we could we could suggest. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, Te amo for Emily in Paris. Oh, that's a good one too. Scotch. Orange chocolate. Yeah. There you go. All right. Oh, the scotch. So that could be. Um, I could do actually Kentucky bourbon. Our Kentucky Thank bourbon you. tea. That would be it's awesome. More of it's vanilla, not bourbon, but it's okay. It's kind of it still works. So keep them coming. It's just something fun. Netflix and sip. That's a enjoy. Good You're right. so clever too. No, we try. So clever. Twenty twenty three. Be clever. A year for clever. <laughs> Show up. Be clever. Show up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I, I hit. Go. Sorry, I hit a button. I I hit a hot topic. I just really there. want the tea room to be ready. So, and just to be honest, uh, we're looking at a March 18th grand opening. You yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone, March 18th, everyone start praying. Yeah, March 18th is our 15th anniversary, it so is. that's a great day to um to open. And not only that, we we're still waiting on some furniture and things. So true. We feel like that is a safe date. It is. It is so that's what we want. That's our believe. that's our tentative. But then oh, but we will be inviting people to come in ahead of that to be part of our soft opening sampling. That'll be fun. We'll keep you posted. We will. Oh, real quick, what would you suggest for Wednesday? That's what was on Instagram. Um, Wednesday Adams. I went with uh, Mystic Moons. No, oh, good one. Or even Enchanted Forest. Because it kind of oh, seems real. I like Mystic Moons. Yeah. Moonberry. Yeah. Moonberry. Yeah. Moonberry. That's an herbal or yeah. a fruit. Oh, yeah. on, so that'd be good too. I've never, um, I haven't seen that, but I think those are really good choices. Oh, she's kind of surly though. Isn't she it? is kind of surly. I like her. I like her a lot. Mike, March is a good time for. For premieres. for premieres, that's when he wants his book out. Oh right, my we, gosh, we'll that's fantastic! We will, Mike. You're just rocking the world of tea. Yeah, it's cool. Are yeah. you going to the tea expo, Mike? No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We have other things because we have to open the tea room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So before we go, National Hot Tea Day. Day. So happy National happy Hot Happy National Hot Tea Day. Day. Oh. Tea month. Enjoy your hot tea. We'll have more. Well, in here it's been like fifty something. So. We'll get there. Okay, I just bought Miss. Oh, can't wait to try it. I think you'll love it. It's really good, hot and or cold. That'll be good. And no info, but any info about it? Oh, your book? No. Not sure. All right. All right. We'll figure well, it out, Mike. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a great day. Great chat, good Julie. Chat. It's good to be back. Oh, look, and now finally I'm not like washed out. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the sun. I don't know. See you next week. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Mm, I